What can we do for you, gentlemen? Uh, Mr. Young, husband. Sir? Uh, my name is Scott, and this is Mr. Lloyd. How do you do? Uh, my car. Oh. Now, which of you two gentlemen is considering taking out a policy? He is. Uh, what kind? Accident, uh, motor car, house, contest house, children's education, or life? Better make it life. That's all I've got out of that lot. <laughs> I wouldn't say he got too much of that either. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, my, uh, my friend here is a little underinsured. Most unwise. Oh, yes, if he died tomorrow, nothing, he'd be a dead loss. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Scott, um, do that again, would you? But all of it? Uh, laugh. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, 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 laugh like it did before, heartily. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? Well, I mean to say, have you noticed the way your um, tummy wobbles up and down? Well, well, it's got to wobble some way. It can't wobble from side to side. <laughs> Shouldn't wobble anywhere at your age. How old are you? Thirty-five. Thirty-five? Is that all? Oh, well, those whom the gods love. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Boyd, <laughs> just put your hand there, would you? Up here? That's right. Now, clench your fist. <laughs> what have you got? I'd rather not say. <laughs> Fatty tissue. Do you mind? Mr. Scott, you, I take it, are insured. Well, no. Not, not my dear sir, you haven't got a moment to lose. Yes, now no. sit down, relax completely, whatever you do, keep calm, don't exert yourself. I've got a form right here. Yeah, but it's him we came oh, to see about. Oh, Mr. Scott, he'll carry your coffin any day. Now, look here, <laughs> you and I... We've got a great many things to consider. Hmm? You must think of your widow. Your widow? I'm not even married. Father and mother, perhaps? No, my father's dead. That's what I was afraid of. It's hereditary. <laughs> hereditary nonsense. <laughs> he fell off beachy head. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Top heavy. <laughs> Three pounds a week on a 20-year policy. You can pop off tomorrow and leave your dear mother with 2,000 pounds and in clover for the rest of her life. It's as simple as that. Now, will you Mr. shut Scott, up a minute? You've got to watch that blood pressure. If you could only see yourself, you're starting quite a flush. You... Listen, for heaven's sake, look, it's, it's him we came to see about, not me. Yeah, but for good, show him a policy dealing with broken windows and cracked systems and, and leave my flush out of it. I just see you. I'm not going to stand around here. Will you keep dying? <laughs> <laughs>